Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we're looking at the final deluxe figure in Wave 9. And that is Leech from the Evil Horde. The Evil Master of Power Suction. And here he is. In the packaging. Of course, you have that Evil Horde sticker in the front of the box right here. With the deluxe figures, you get uh, extra accessories like an extra head, extra hands. You know the famous horde crossbow for most of the figures in the horde. The figure himself in the front of the packaging for all deluxe figures and the Mattel Creations exclusives. You have that Masters of the Universe logo blasting from the volcanic red rocks. Giving it that vintage look and feel, like we've gone back in time to the 80s, which is absolutely amazing. You have the 40th anniversary sticker on the top left corner. And he does stick to uh, smooth surfaces. Alright. We flip it around to the back. Of the packaging. Show some absolutely amazing artwork of him taking on Tongue Lasher using his leech ability to drain his strength or powers. Of course, the action call out for the figure and how you can use him on glass or smooth surfaces to use his suction cup to have him stick to the glass or smooth surfaces. And of course, all the figures in Wave 9, and I have done a review for each of them on my channel. If you'd like to go back and check it out, please do. And tomorrow on Monday, we're looking at the final uh, um, the final uh, vehicle in Wave 9, which is the Rotan, the evil assault vehicle. Can't wait to do that review with you guys tomorrow. All right. I'll flip it back around to the front. Of course, with all figures and the origins, they do come with a comic book, and the deluxe figures come with a different comic book, different from the single carded releases. So here it is. So this comic book is a lot di is different from the single carded releases from Wave Nine. Uh, Leech and Snout Spout got this particular comic book, and I'll do a brief summary. Great read, a lot of color illustration, illustrations. I really do hope we get uh, Slime Pit He-Man in, in Origins at some point. I think that'd be amazing. And Slime Pit, the Slime Pit playset as well. So, there you go. And of course, all the figures in Wave 9 already. There you go. Alright guys. And I do have a loose version of him. And there he is. And like I said, you can mix and match if you wish. I do prefer the secondary head than his normal head. But still an amazing figure. And this is what he looked like back in the day. In 85, he came out in 85. And you notice the back of the packaging in the original 85 version looks kind of, kind of similar to the Origins one. Where the only difference is, of course, there's not Tongue Lasher. It looks like Man in Arms getting, you know, attacked by Leech. It looks like from side to side, front to back. And apparently there was a variant of him, and it looks like his belt was, like he had a different green tone to his body, and of course the black buckle on his belt, so that's the normal version, and there is the variant version, so keep an eye on, on this one, if you are collecting uh, him, it looks like in the packaging. I want to thank again, thanks again to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics for making this incredible book, amazing book. All right, 
Now, he's an, he's an amazing character, another member of the Horde, and we've gotten quite a few Horde in our Origins collection. And before the video is done, I will show you all the Horde members in the collection so far. Now, I, I'd like to ask, who is your favorite so far in Origins? You have to pick right now. Now he's a cool character, and I'm and I'm happy to have him in the in the collection, and I'm sure a lot of you are too. But he's also like Snout Spout and and Wave Seven. He's pretty much like a pig woman right now in Walmart, unfortunately. Um, so if you need him, you should not have no problems at all, either getting him at the store, I hope, or online. Here's front to back, side to side. And you can switch the head out. It pops, pops right off. You can choose your own adventure. You can mix match if you wish. Now this is the head I prefer. And also I gave him uh, one of his secondary hands. And not another suction cup. But you can move the hand as well. You can remove this. It does come off very easily. And you can add it in the other hand. Or you, you know, keep it like this. This is how I prefer my, my uh, leech in my collection. Like this. Now, I'm curious because I don't haven't tried it yet. I don't know if you can. Oh, he does. You can pop the the waist from from his belt. It snaps right back on. No fuss. No problems at all. Absolutely, really cool character. I'm. And I hope we get more uh, characters from the Horde as well. And then you can pop the arms out. You can snap it back on. Full rotation on the arms, 360. You can bend at the elbows. You can twist the suction. And, and to release the suction, because unfortunately I don't have a, a really good... Well, yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. You might fall over, guys. But these little tabs right here will allow you to remove him off the surface without, like, damaging the suction or ripping it. Right there, these little tubes right here. Pop the head back off. Snap the, the uh, vintage-style head on him. So yeah, there you go. A really cool character. Now the one thing about these origin figures that you cannot remove, unfortunately, is the legs for all the figures. The legs are pretty much on there. Now there is a way to get them off, but you have to be very very careful. And it does deal with like hot water. You have to you know get up you know and make sure you're you know be, being safe and all that stuff, guys. But you can remove the legs if you wish. You know you can't right you can't without without doing that. So you gotta heat up some hot water to expand the the ball joint in the legs to make it get bigger so it will come off easily. It takes like boiling some water, it takes like maybe and you put the bottom half of the figure into the water for like maybe a 30 seconds or so. Don't do it for a very long time. And they should be able to move or come off, you know, with no problems, and then be able to put a new one on quickly before the ball joint will you know get cold and go back to normal but be very very careful with that guys okay so that is the one thing that these origins figures cannot be removed are the legs but you can remove the arms the head the waist you know sometimes that you can do the feet you can remove the feet they snap back on there you go There you go, guys. There's a look at Leech from the Evil Horde. And give me a second, guys. I will show you my entire collection of Horde figures in, in Origins. So give me one second, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks for waiting. So this is my entire collection of Horde uh, figures. And I think this is all of them. Starting off with the PowerCon exclusive. 
with the four pack with the two color troops uh, uh, horror troopers the dark variant Grizzlore and the filmation Hordak which I do hope we do get a single carded one of him then we have the normal variant of Hordak single carded we have the Mattel Creations exclusive uh, Harry He-Man or Grizzlore then we have the deluxe version of the Buzzsaw Hordak we got Mosquitoor. We have, of course, Leech, which we just did that review. We just did. We have uh, Mantana. And finally, we have the Horde Trooper. So right now, out of all these guys, right now, guys, who is your favorite Horde Trooper and I or Horde figure? And I have no doubt we'll be getting more. I hope we get Shadow Weaver and Catra. But I do also hope we do get some Princess of Power figures as well to kind of combat the Horde. So the Horde collection is pretty massive, pretty big. And I hope it gets bigger. Alright guys. Take the time out now. Hang on. To thank all my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, and you have to subscribe, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys about Master Duders collecting and figures and stuff like that. From Origins, to Masterverse, to CGI. Hit that like button, guys. And hit that notification bell, guys, when you know when I upload new videos. And tomorrow, on Monday, I'll be doing a review of the Roton, the evil assault vehicle in Wave 9. Share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting Master Universe figures, which could be Origins, Masterverse, CGI. So, guys, thanks again for joining me on Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday with that review of the Roton. Take care, guys. Bye.